what's going on everybody so it is hot um yeah that's the description i got for you um <sighs> let's just get straight to it guys without all that crappy introduction stuff as you can see i have this uh cheap pool sitting over this well the reason why is i was cutting grass and this window got shattered there's some of the glass down there all that it was everywhere up in here yeah so as you can see i roll the window and no window happens as you can see also there's some glass right up in there i didn't even know what happened i'd never even pointed the discharge at any of the vehicles because i never do so i don't know how it happened but it was fine before i started cutting grass and then it was busted afterwards so it had to have come from me but whatever whatever just gonna find one it probably won't be that bad but uh so i figured out where i'm gonna mount my stuff here so my computer i'm gonna put a plate right here to block this back over block that up block, block that again and the computer's gonna basically sit like right here and uh you know whatever side i think blue is actually on this side but you know whatever you know what i'm doing you know what i'm saying so uh i also went ahead and mounted my stuff down there hopefully nobody kicks it too much but uh, ow motherfucker all right so but not really too much i'm gonna be doing in here today because i have my my computer for the vehicle and uh yeah i've been doing some stuff to it and i want to kind of show you a little bit of here and there um just the basics from what i've i've uh, gathered and uh just the simple things to get you started because if you haven't modded anything and you got hp tuners for removing your um security it's very easy to do i can show you that right now let's uh, let's cut to let me actually first i'm gonna show you how i built my bench harness and then we'll go into everything i did so let's cut to that right now all right so obviously right here this is not what hp tuners comes in this is just what i put mine in so just to kind of protect it but uh what we can look at is this so uh basically what i have here ugh, is this right here uh you will only be using four wires in here and they're all basically kind of right there as you can see they are that pin that pin that pin and this pin over here which i believe is oh yeah let's see it is pins 19 20 uh 58 and uh, what is that one over there and one yeah one nineteen twenty yeah one okay so all right so you're only going to be using actually four wires in here you're going to be using pins one nineteen and twenty and then your data link, which is 58, I do believe. Double check that, but yeah, 58. Yeah, so those are the only pins you're actually gonna be using. You're gonna need the blue connector because the blue is the side that actually interfaces with. So you don't need the other side. So if you wanna go to the junkyard, snip off, find one of these that somebody's already robbed the computer from and just snip off enough length to where you can do what you need to do. So then basically I have the constant, which is the orange, it runs, okay, so let me talk about this first. So right here what I have is a, an adapter, a DC adapter. So if you look right here, the output is 12 volts, one amp. So it's basically the exact same voltage that you got coming from your battery, 12 volts, generally generally you have a little bit more than 12 volts coming from your battery but 12 volts is enough to run the computer and what you need to do so uh, i have this uh typically with some of these things uh 
what you'll notice is is like there's a black and then a black with a white wire uh, the black with the white wire or white kind of dotted wire there that's actually going to be your ground uh, that's what that's what my ground was so that's, I'm just you know I don't know if that's what they're gonna do on every one of them but this one in particular the ground was the black with white wire black black with white line Ugh. so what I did down here and you don't I'm not telling you how to make this one I'm just telling you how this one works because this one is just kind of like janky and put together to do whatever so the ground obviously went to the ground on the switch which was this uh, this here um, white wire uh, but then the power actually went in so uh, basically right here this whole little, little tube right here is a fuse a fuse holder and whatnot so I, I I went in through a fuse for the power wire and then out out the fuse then into this black wire oh, you... okay so basically what I have here is I'm not telling you how to make this one in particular but uh so the ground wire from this connection right here is actually going to go into the ground which is the white on mine i don't know what yours is going to be uh, you probably have a better switch i i just found this switch which i could have used as well um but i didn't i already had this one made and it works great so yeah like i said the ground goes into the white now the power it actually went i, I did a fuse so i have a fuse right here and so I'm not sure what amp fuse is in there. It was just kind of a an inline fuse that I had laying around. And so I spliced the, the power wire going through that and then out it comes and then goes into this black wire. So, and also marked that this is off and this is on. Um, so then coming out this end right here. Oh yeah, so before I get to that, down here after the fuse, uh, Basically, that's when I tied in the orange wire to the constant hot after the fuse, but before the switch That way because the orange is constant hot. So it, typically it would always have a 12 volt going to it So I tied in the hot that uh, orange wire back here and then on the other side over here I tied in the ground again to another to the other ground that comes off of the OBD 2 port and off of the uh, the harness here so that's where the ground tied into that but then also the power wire or that came off of the switch I actually tied into the uh, the pink wire that is on the harness but also one other thing for me it was a brown wire but it's pin let's see yeah it's pin 16 right here this also is a constant hot i forgot to tell you about that that pin 16 that also ties in down here before the switch you're gonna tie that in with the orange wire down here before the switch so uh let's see here yeah then it, basically other than that then i have uh you know i have my green wire that comes out of here which is my data my data link and it runs over here to this yellow wire right here do you believe yeah runs to this yellow wire which is pin two so yeah and on the obd2 port you're going to use pins two four and five are ground and then pin 16 is your power so and i mean that makes this right here um it works I mean especially because you know you have exactly 12 volts this works and it looks crappy but I have a little test port right here where I can actually test the switched power so whenever I hit the switch if the switch is, for some reason is acting up I'll know basically by testing right here that way I don't have to pull off anything else over here I can just test it because uh, this is constant right here the only the, the uh, switched wire only runs up into here so that means I'd either have to pull this off or pull these cat these covers off I can just test it right there um, but basically all this is gonna do is plug in right here 
Now, that screw is a seven millimeter. You may find it annoying, but if you ever accidentally pull it out or it comes out while you're tuning it or while it's riding, then you just brick that entire uh, computer, just so you know. So it's good to have this in, in the place. That way nothing like that happens. That's why all these connections are solid. I made sure of it. Um, so. Basically, we'll set this right here, and we'll set that right there. This is going to go over here, we're going to go ahead and plug this in. So, then what we'll do is, is we'll go in here, pull out these two things. So this is the, your little HP Tuners MPVI2. Obviously, that's just going to connect right in here to this. And as you see, we got power on, 